Yo, what's going on guys? Taco here, and I'm back on Ring of Elysium with another episode of the Tips and Tricks series. This is going to be episode 2, and in this episode we're going to be discussing rifles, okay? So the rifles we're going to be going over in this video are the AK, the Groza, the M4, the Lavoa, or LVOA, I'll be calling it the Lavoa this video, the FAMAS, and the AUG. So... All in all, it comes down to personal preference on which rifle feels the best for you. But in this episode, I'll be explaining what my views are on the rifles and why that is. So yeah, we'll see you in game. Alright guys, we're back in game and the first gun we're going to be going over is the AK-47. The AK-47, you can put a scope on it, obviously. <coughs> Excuse me, you can put a magazine and a some sort of compensator, silencer, or flash hider. Just something for the barrel. So... The AK is personally my favorite assault rifle. Next would be, I don't know, there, there's a lot. That, they're all good. They're all good. It's all about personal pre It's not all about personal preference. I mean, there is stats to them, but you know what I mean. Just pick which gun you want, what you feel the best with. I personally feel best with the AK. The AK has a little bit less stability than most guns, but it has good range and good damage compared to other assault rifles. So the recoil might be a little bit higher, and it's a little harder to control, but the high damage and range, in my opinion, make up for it. So yeah. Alright, the next weapon we will be going over is the FAMAS. The FAMAS has the highest rate of fire out of any of the assault rifles, and not the best stability. So, higher rate of fire and not the best stability makes it one of the hardest to control. I've used this gun the least out of all of the assault rifles, and it is personally my least favorite because of the how hard it is to control. I'd rather be able to control and hit all my bullets than just spray a billion at a time. That's just my personal opinion, though. One of my friends that I play with, his favorite weapon is the FAMAS. So, just, yeah. So, high recoil, oh, not really high recoil. It feels like high recoil, but really fast fire rate, mediocre damage, this is, this is what it looks like. So fires really quickly, and if you're shooting at somebody from a good distance, it's pretty hard to control. It goes up pretty fast. And yeah, on to the next rifle. Alright, the next rifle we'll be going over is the LVOA. I call it the Lavoa. I don't know how you're supposed to say it, so in this video I'll just be calling it the Lavoa, and in all my other videos as well. So the Lavoa is, is my second favorite rifle. It's up there with the M4, I think it's a little bit higher, mainly because the way it feels to me is that it feels like it has a high rate of fire and it's really easy to control, it has a high stability. It doesn't have the highest damage, it's lower than the AK and I think it's lower than the FAMAS, but it's just so easy to control that it's an easy gun to get good at. So you can put on basically the same thing as the AK except with the, the not the stock, the grip. And yeah, this is what it looks like when you're controlling it. So very easy, very fast, and then this is what it looks like without controlling it. I don't know, I personally love this gun. It was like the first rifle I started using, and I like it a lot. And it's pretty common too, I find these everywhere. On to the next rifle. Alright, the next rifle I'll be going over is the M4A1. And just so you know, I had to murder a man to get this rifle. So, yeah. M4A1 uses 5.56 just as the Lavoa and the FAMAS do. AK and Groza use 7.62. The AUG also uses 5.56. The M4 is another one of my friend's favorite weapons. I feel like most people prefer the M4. It takes the most attachments. It's the only rifle that also requires a stock as well as everything else. So if you get all the attachments on it, it's probably going to have the best stats out of any other gun. That's usually just how it goes with these types of games. But... Yeah, it's like I said before, it's all up to personal preference. The M4 has high damage, good range. It's like an all-arounder, basically. It's high on all the stats, but not... It's the highest on... I don't think it's the highest on any of the stats, but it's high up on all of them. Like, second place, basically, on every stat. So this is with me controlling it. And like I said, I, all I do is pull down, and this is normal. So yeah, this is my third favorite rifle. It's very good. It's probably a fan favorite of everybody, along with the AK, I'd say. So yeah, there's a loud-ass truck out there going on. 
But yeah, guys, see you in the next clip. Alright guys, so we're in the storm as you can see. This has all been in one game I've been recording all these clips. I've gotten every AR so far that I needed. So now, this clip's going to be on the Groza. We're in the storm, so we got to do this kind of quickly. But Groza is my second least favorite gun. has some, the least amount of attachments along with the AK. I find it very difficult to control. Its fire rate is good and its damage is good. <clears throat> I, I just don't like the shape of the recoil pattern. A lot of people would disagree with me, like I said. The one, my one friend who loves FAMAS also loves this gun. These are his favorite two, these are my least favorite two, so it all depends. This is control to recoil on it. It still even went up. And then this is not good. So yeah. The last gun on the list is the AUG. Now, I don't have a clip of me using the AUG because it's only in crates and it's pretty rare to find. I've had it a few times, and I can say it is my second favorite gun in the game next to the best sniper rifle in the game. The AUG is very good. It has extremely high rate of fire, good damage, good range, easy to control. It's just all around great. I, my personal opinion, pick it up every time you find one. It is very good. So, basically, the rundown on this video, my, favorite are, my favorites are the AK and the AUG, the next would be the LVOA M4, down to the FAMAS and Groza, which are tied for the worst, in my opinion. Some of my friends would disagree, but that's their opinion. And did I mention the M4? I think I did, yeah. So the best starting rifle, I think, if you're just, if you're brand new to the game, would be the LVOA, the Lavoa. It's very easy to control. And yeah, highest range is the AK. Highest damage is AK and Groza. Easiest to control, Lavoa, AUG, highest fire rate, AUG, and FAMAS, it just goes like that. So yeah, there's a spreadsheet that'll be linked in the description that shows all the gun stats. And yeah, next video I can do what's the best SMG for you, what's the best sniper rifle, shotgun, I can do all of those. Just comment what you want next guys, and I'll see you guys later, peace.